Let's have a quick look at the top 10 Flutter and Dart packages from July 4 to 10. To receive this overview as an email newsletter once a week, subscribe at follow.syntechops.com. Now let's get started. Number 10 is called Dart Markdown, a portable markdown library written in Dart that can parse markdown into HTML. Number 9 is called Hemicycle, draw a semicircle dotted representation. It is designed for displaying groups in an assembly per sector or individual votes. Number 8 is called YouTube Data API, a Flutter package for fetching complete data from YouTube supporting search, trending, channels, playlists and video data. Number 7 is called Auto Animated List, a list view widget that supports automatic animations when list items are changed. Number 6 is called Digital LCD Number, a automatic sizer digital single digit number with LCD style widget. Number 5 is called Motion, a fancy widget that applies a gyroscope based motion effect to its child. Number 4 is called WhatsApp Sender Flutter, which is an unofficial API for Flutter to send bulk messages in WhatsApp. Number 3 is called User Inactivity Detector, an inactivity detector which reacts to user inactivity. Number 2 is called Excel Localization, which can be used to generate variable values for localization and to manage localization without context. And last but not least, the number one of release week 27, the package Tita CMS, the Dart client for Tita CMS, which is a low-code backend service providing scalable NoSQL databases, real-time subscriptions, user authentication and more. If you enjoyed this video and want to support me and my channel, please like, share and subscribe. To receive this compact overview weekly as an email newsletter, subscribe at follow.syntechops.com. Also make sure to support the developers of those awesome packages by hitting the like button on the documentation page. Those were the top 10 of the week. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great week and see you soon.